Hey guys, this is Claudia here from The Bookkeeping Experts. I am so excited to be back here and today we're going to cover a very popular subject. It's payments to deposit. <clears throat> what is payments to deposit? Payments to deposit is a new name for undeposited funds. Is there any difference? No, it's exactly the same thing. And what it is, is just a clearance account where um, it works in QuickBooks. So when you receive money from your client, you record that payment you have not yet received, uh, you have not yet deposited into the bank, you put it into this hold account. So it's gonna hold the money for a little while until you record the deposit into the bank. So with QuickBooks, income transaction, workflow, let's talk about that. So first, you can send an estimate to a client or you can send straight an invoice client pays you record the payment uh, in the invoice and you're gonna send it to payments to deposit or on deposit funds which is the same thing and then you're gonna match it in banking very important one of the biggest problems I have not me my clients come to me with problems <laughs> is that they have not matched those um, those those payments so they just recorded the payment left it there and then for the income transactions they just added the transactions without matching um, and then at the end of the year you go into the balance sheet and then you have this big amount in the balance sheet so let's take a look at that <laughs> we're gonna learn how to fix that okay so now we're gonna go to QuickBooks online and here it is we're gonna maximize that all right so like I said, first thing you're gonna create an invoice. After the invoice is, is created, you're gonna uh, customer paid. You can receive payment right from here, or you can click on sales, invoice, or customer, whatever, go, whatever works for you. So we're gonna go the plus new receive payment, and I'm gonna go to one of the customers that have an outstanding invoice gonna record a payment here it's undeposited funds that's the date of the payment and we're gonna save and close okay so there's more one more step and that is to record the deposit click on plus new so any undeposited funds will be sitting on undeposited funds to reach that plus new bank deposit all the undeposited funds or payments to deposit will be sitting in here waiting for you to record the deposit into whatever bank account or cash account that you have right so we're gonna do one more um we'll do it this way <laughs> okay so yeah there it is so we're gonna receive payment all right we'll leave it to the 19 that's fine pay here on the positive funds save and close you can put more information I'm just keeping it simple but uh, you can actually put the payment method if it was a check you want to put the check number I'm just gonna make up something here this is just a uh, this is just a simple account so that's how it works uh, okay so yeah everything looks good so I'm gonna save and close but let's suppose that I actually went to the bank and I'll in deposit the money but <clears throat> I ac actually ended up going to the bank and I deposit all the checks at the same time so like the three payments and a lot of times clients of mine will just record um, one deposit at a time but actually the deposit in the bank was everything together so you can't match it so make sure that whatever happens here will match this amount will match exactly the amount that you deposit in the bank if there is a fee for instance you you can add to this deposit here if it is a fee you can put you know bank fees oh I'm sorry from customer just a name whatever customer name and let's suppose that there is a fee that uh, you were charged for processing a credit card so bank fees or whatever fees and let's suppose what was deposited was actually 
for 29 so I can do a minus 10 and now you want to make sure that this number match the bank okay I'm gonna go ahead and save and close or save and new and now I recorded the deposit and I reflected exactly what happened in the bank so I can go ahead and click on banking keep in mind this is the accountant view uh, you may see this as transaction and if it looks like this I'm gonna switch to business view this is this is the accountant interface this is the client interface and this is the new interface as it's looking right now okay but it works pretty much the same so in order to get to transactions okay you, you want to click on bookkeeping transactions and banking right over here so it's exactly the same thing uh, for the positive you want to click on the plus new undeposited funds is right here so everything is here it just looks different it's just a different interface I'm gonna go back to account view okay I like it better <laughs> I like it better like that okay so we recorded the deposit now you want to make sure that you're gonna match it in banking to whatever happened right now keep in mind you do not want to match anything any income transaction uh, to a uh to an invoice or sales receipt my my mind just my brain just poof poof <laughs> disappear okay so make sure you match it to a um match it to a deposit not invoice not, not sales receipt none of that <clears throat> okay let me actually undo this too so i can show you how we match it keep in mind this is a simple account so things are not gonna be exactly the same so this is how it should look the first thing you want to look is the date look at July 24th yeah you can click on the number it's gonna open up the invoice if you click on the invoice it's gonna open up to make sure that everything is correct if everything is good you can go ahead and match okay same thing here everything looks good and we match okay all right so remember always match it to a deposit all right okay all right this is it <laughs> hope you like it if you like our video hey give us a thumbs up please please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel we come back every week with all kinds of subjects and how to make your life easier in quickbooks online so we want to help you find your point of reference and uh, what is the point of reference is basically to know where you are financially and plan on where you want to be so we're coming to the end of the year this is a very important question you want to know uh, first of all how much you're gonna pay in taxes <laughs> you want to know that way before right so that's why you want to keep your books up to date now that's not the most important reason it's a very important reason but the most important reason why you want to keep your books up to date is to make sure you know your point of reference so you can grow your business you know what to do you will know what to do in order to get to where you want to get but you know remember if you think about if you're driving somewhere and you don't know where you are it doesn't matter which direction you're going because you're not getting where you want to go <laughs> now if you know exactly where you are you have a map at hand you look at the map you know where you are you can trace it in the map okay I'm here I want to go here so this is what I need to do same thing with your finances if you're running a business you want to make sure your business is successful by knowing exactly where you are so this is your map QuickBooks online maintaining your books up to date being able to look at your reports and seeing where you are, your point of reference <laughs> will help you know what to do next in order to get to where you, you want to get. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for spending this time with me. It means so much to me. If you want us to cover a subject uh, that you're struggling with, 
please write down below write down below hey claudia can you cover this for me oh yes we'll cover that <laughs> we want to help you and we want to hear from you so write down below give us a thumbs up if you like this video share with your friends share with the world <laughs> share with your family with everyone you know your co-workers um and let us know if we can help you in whatever you need help with and we'll get back to you but until next time keep on smiling